According to the web bots, a series of catastrophes reaches its peak in the year 2012. I honestly don't know what's going to happen in 2012. This technology may start meshing with a lot of the other predictive things out there, like uh, Mayan calendar. Is it true prophecy or just a lot of random noise? For answers, one must return to the very beginnings of Western civilization. In the ancient world, the most highly regarded psychics were called oracles. An oracle is an individual who has some kind of prophetic connection with a god or God himself. One of the most important oracles of the ancient world was based in the Roman Empire. She was called the Sibyl. She lived in a cave in Cumae, near modern-day Naples, around the 6th century BC. Statesmen, aristocrats, figures from the upper echelon of Roman society would go and consult the Sibylline prophecies about all kinds of things, ranging from war to statecraft to domestic concerns. Before giving her prophecies, the Sibyl would go into a trance in which it was said the god Apollo would take over her body. The god possessed the Sibyl. She made utterances, often in this uh, furious altered state. One of the remarkable things about the Sibyl is that she wrote her, her pronouncements on oak leaves. But if the oak leaves blew in the wind, they were not reassembled, so the messages were often scrambled. The Sibyl's prophecies were collected in a series of scrolls and housed in the Temple of Jupiter. They were considered the most important religious books of ancient Rome. Among the Sibyl's prophecies was a distant apocalypse. She predicted the world would last for nine periods of 800 years each. The 10th generation would begin approximately 2000 AD, and it would be the last. These things in the 10th generation shall come to pass. The earth shall be shaken by a great earthquake that throws many cities into the sea. There shall be war. Fire shall come flashing forth from the heavens and many cities burn. Black ashes shall fill the great sky. Then know the anger of the gods. The Sibylline Oracles, Book 4. We're feeling this time coming on. Um, we're reading the reports about, you know, the glaciers melting. We're experiencing things like the tsunamis, climate changes, upheavals in land, cataclysms. But the Sibyl's prophecies wouldn't mean much if she didn't have such a good track record. In the 6th century BC, the Sibyl predicted the invasion of Italy by Hannibal 700 years before it happened. And she predicted his ultimate defeat. She predicted the rise of the Emperor Constantine by name 800 years before he was born. But her greatest prophecy gave her a place of honor among early Christians. In Virgil's fourth eclogue, he has the Sibyl give a prophecy of a new age coming, a new golden age, and a child who would be born who would initiate this golden age. This was written, I believe, say around 20 BC. Later on, Christians took this as a prophecy of Christ. The Sibyl's prophecy of the coming of Jesus, 20 years before his birth, caused her to be revered by early Christians. And even Michelangelo gave her a prominent place in the Sistine Chapel. No one knows how the Sibyl saw into the future, but a new archaeological discovery suggests that the source of her prophecy was not God, but gas.